Hi everybody, Riley Kitts here with the Children's Campaign, here with my newest campaigner, Cotton, my little guy here. And we're here to give you an update on what happened at the Capitol this week. It was a really big one, especially for our health priorities, and in particular, family planning and reproductive rights. So we started off on Monday supporting our partners over at Calor, the Colorado Organization for Latina Opportunity and Reproductive Rights. They uh, ran a bill, Senate Bill 9, to provide uh, family planning services for folks who lock, lack proper documentation. We know that that's a barrier, a systemic barrier in our system, that folks who do not have proper documentation don't have access to a lot of the services that we all rely on. We're really proud to support that bill and see that bill move out of the Senate uh, Health Committee. We then, a couple days later, were proud to support our partners at Planned Parenthood for their bill around preventative services. Their bill will uh, allow greater access to contraceptives without cost sharing to the consumer. That's a really great policy. And then right after that, we were really proud to run one of our priority bills, Senate Bill 25, which is a bill to expand income eligibility at Medicaid for family planning services. We were really proud to work with Senators Pedersen and Corum on this bill, and it's really gonna go a long way to help uh, more Coloradans gain access to family planning services. My wife and I were able to choose when and how to start our family and when to bring cotton into this world. But a lot of folks aren't afforded that, those choices and those options. So we're really proud to support Senate Bill 25 and really proud that it made it out of the Senate Health Committee on a bipartisan vote. Really exciting work there. It's gonna draw down millions of dollars from federal funds and it's gonna save Colorado taxpayers dollars. I think Senator Corum probably said it best in committee when he said, if we want to end cycles of poverty, if we want to lower the abortion rate, we need to help stop unintended pregnancies. So we're really proud to support that bill this week. Now, looking to next week, we're really excited because one of our early childhood priorities is on the table. In the House Public Health and Human Services Committee, we have House Bill 1222, which is a bill to provide, uh, to help support family uh, childcare homes throughout the state. Right now, we know there's a patchwork of burdensome regulations that don't allow for these essential providers to actually set root and provide care for their communities. We can help bring more licensed slots to our state, more licensed facilities in these homes if we help cut the red tape. We're really excited for next week. It's gonna be a great hearing. But in the meantime, you know where to check us out. And you know where to check us out too, right? ColoradoKids.org, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and be sure to listen to our podcast, The West Steps. We've had a great third season so far. It just keeps on getting better. Well, that's it for this week. We're going to sign off. Can you say goodbye, Cotton? Can you say goodbye? All right. We'll see you all soon.